Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about winter coats. And uh, it, as you can see, it's kind of cold outside. It's 27 degrees, so I'm wearing a nice little cozy sweater here, which is so appropriate for a coat, isn't it? Um, so, you know, when we talk about winter coats, uh, we all rush to get the newest, trendiest coat, but does it really work for us to meet all our needs? Um, so today I'm going to go over my own collection of winter coats and I'm so excited to share it with you. What I look for when trying to stay warm and of course always look polished. People are used to seeing the sporty, the shell covered water repellent coat. So when they don't see one, I think it really stands out. The first coat that I'm going to show you, I purchased when I moved into New England uh, back a couple of years ago. It's by DKNY. And it's a nice navy colored coat with a beautiful black fake fur hoodie. And it actually has the fur all the way inside to cover my head, not just the trimming. It's the heaviest coat that I have. It's waterproof, wind resistant, and matches with any jeans that I have and pretty much any bottoms that are darker. It's long and reaches above my knees for full coverage. Uh, the wind factor is pretty strong here. So in addition to the temperature, the wind just like drops the temperature by like 10 degrees. So you do want to be covered all the way. And I always found it nice and warm and toasty when I'm covered to my knees and then, you know, I'm wearing boots and they reach to my knees. So I'm kind of fully covered from head to toe. The size of the hoodie is important to me because um, I like my face shielded as well as my makeup to stay dry. So, you know, I can be outside for longer periods of time without having to worry about precipitation blasting on me. This is the coat you want to have when you're going out in the sub-teens degrees outside in full snow activities like skiing or sledding or hiking in the snow. <laughs> um, and it has this really nice elastic at the wrist which seals it. It seals it from snow and from the cold and any wetness and also it keeps all the warmth inside. You know these small little details I found that they're so important when you are in full-blown snowstorm or you know just want to enjoy the outside weather. And um, it's very helpful when I noticed that I had these, you know, snow gloves on and you have the trimming out and somehow it gets wet. So it's this way the elastic nicely tucks it in and it stays all insulated. For those that don't recognize the brands that I'm going to mention, it's okay. You probably haven't heard of them. And you know what? Neither have I before I purchased them. And I, I purposely look for non-known name brands because they are not marked up. I want the quality without the price tag. This is my Trina trunk coat. Um, I consider it a go-to grown-up coat. It's purposely picked in a neutral tone and I love it. It goes with everything. It's very, very comfortable. I can just throw it on and not worry about anything. A good styling tip is to match your accessories, your visible accessories to your coat. So for example, your shoes, they should match the coat, not just in color, but also in style. Despite its thickness, it's a lot warmer than it seems. It's my go-to most worn coat and it's easy to put on and button without any fuss. Um, it doesn't have a hoodie, so I wouldn't wear it on a snowy day without a hat. It's nice and long, but not too long, so it goes well with pants um, and that kind of in-between size with dresses and skirts, which I like to wear also. Um, I can wear with jeans or with slacks for work. It just goes with everything, dressed up or down. So you wanna have one of those coats that looks great by itself. It elevates your look, it elevates you overall. It makes you feel amazing without you having to do anything to it. Um, you want it to make you look better. It's kind of like it works for you, not the other way around. It's also nicely fitted around the waistline, which I think is so incredibly flattering. You, all, you need to know your body shape and mine, um, I like it accentuated around the waistline. It's very slimming and feminine and delicate and of course polished. 
and um, it's a slightly longer in the back which kind of reminds me of the A-line coats that they used to wear back in the days. It's just so unique and almost drapes out a little bit like a, like a mini dress um, and it's just so lovely. I love the detail about it. Another great feature is that it's not very snug, so I always recommend sizing up if you're in between sizes, even size up regardless um, when you're picking your coats because you want to be able to layer underneath and also it's probably going to be used in a cold climate, so you want also nice fluffy sweaters there underneath and without it constraining you from moving or driving or sitting or whatever the case. I, I think comfort is just so important overall. All right, I'm saving the best for last and this is by far my favorite coat. I'm really interested in pieces that are classic, that will outstand um, trends and it, it makes a statement by itself without me even doing anything. Just literally at work, I put it on a hanger and I walk by it and I'm just, it's like art. Some pieces are just so cherishable that you you want to be excited when you wear them and when you put it on and it's it's like a hug, right? You want a nice warm hug and um, that's how I want to look at all my pieces. It does not the case, but um, for this one, it is. So let's go over more details about this coat. And um, I'll tell you what, it's uh, so it's the staple, it's definitely the staple in my wardrobe. It matches every piece of clothing that I own and I just throw it on and it makes me look, well, you want to make you look fabulous. It's made out of 100% alpaca wool. It's very thick and absolutely ridiculously warm. It's much, much heavier than the regular wool coats that I have that I own. It has a wide collar which serves as a double up heel protectant on my shoulders. It's full length which goes all the way to my ankles. And uh, I normally wear this with a dress or a skirt and just knee high boots. Um, the belt is very flattering and uh, shapes me snug around my waistline, which I talked about. I think it's important to know which part of your body you want to accentuate. It's actually, the reason why I decided to make this video is because I wore it yesterday and I got so many compliments. Again, I think it's just, I don't know if it's a cultural thing, but uh, people are not used to wearing nice coats anymore. And it's funny because I see them in um, YouTube videos um, and in hauls and I don't see people wear them in real life so I'm not sure where those people are that buy the woolly coats please let me know uh, I would love to meet you so we could all walk around in our coats <laughs> so I'm not the only one wearing one but yeah I mean I just love it I love it I love to look like an adult because we're adults I think there comes a certain age where you want to differentiate yourself and be taken seriously right and if not for everyone else for yourself you want to feel like hey I'm a grown-up I'm a parent I'm a woman right I've earned it and um, yeah start treating me like one right and it starts from within and you treat yourself how you want others to treat you so I think it's very very important to just I don't know it's an indulgence okay it's an indulgence because I know it wasn't it's not affordable for everyone to get but you get it once in a decade and then you're all set <laughs> I hope you found some inspiration in this video and at the very least enjoyed watching it. Look out for my next styling videos. If you haven't subscribed so far to my channel, you might want to consider doing that. And until next time, bye!